So listen, don't come in with a half-assed energy. You have to come in full on, full on um, cock energy, full on honesty, full on devotion, full on um, full on presence. Okay, I'm going to talk about this because this is absolutely important and crucial if you want your partner to come along with you on some kind of sexual exploration. So hello, my name is Leanna Wallen. Stay tuned for this information that's going to come up. We're going to talk about it. Thank you so much for coming back if, you, if you, you're returning and, and thank you if you're new. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the alarm button, which is <laughs> somewhere, um, so that you can get notified, okay? So we're going to talk about the full-on cock energy that comes into the connection with your partner, okay? This is what is going to take you to the next level. And I talk about cock energy in, in a number of my videos. You can, you can check them out, what it is, how to breathe, how to get your body um, involved in the whole desire that you have. And that's what it's all about. It's about not just, you know, getting an erection and penetrating and, and having that kind of very basic kind of physical connection with your partner. It's about having your whole body charged with energy for the, the, the connection that you're going to make with your partner to be really charged, to be really um, fully present with your partner, to have every ounce of your being energized and vibrating. I mean, at this point, when you get yourself to this point, when every ounce of your being is vibrating in your charge, you are fully on, fully hard, fully erect, right? So when you can get yourself to that point, your partner, your feminine partner is going to feel you no matter what size penis you have, no matter what, um, how, what you look like or what shape you are, a fully on desired, a, a, a uh, masculine energy that's full on desiring, full on charge, vibrating in an energy that's just really passionate and and uh, um, really, really um, connective and really understanding of their partner and really respectful as well. You know, when you get to this vibrated energy, you are in a place of bringing on your full desire right? So you know what you desire. You're, you're, you've connected to that. Oh yes, this is what I desire, right? And now I'm going to let this come out. I'm going to let this be part of my whole being. I'm going to let it express through my entire being because when it's expressed through the entire being, that's when she feels it. That's when she wants to be with you. That's when she stops and goes, whoa, okay. Hello. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm suddenly feeling turned on. I'm suddenly feeling excited. You know, I'm, she's suddenly feeling like she wants to have this connection with you. I get a lot of people talking about how my partner not interested, my partner not wanting to um, explore with me, will go farther with me. If you want your partner to start exploring, to start having threesomes, to start <laughs> doing other things that you have never done before in your long-term relationship, you have to get your whole being involved in what you want and what you desire. So um, I talk a lot about desire, accessing your desire. You want to be honest and truthful about what that is. Because when you can be, then you, you feel it in your body. You feel the passion coming, moving through you. You feel that you want to express this and that you want, to, you want it to be, it, it's, it, it's, it was in you and now it's like radiating from you, right? And you feeling it and this radiating, this vibrating of this energy coming from you, your partner is going to feel it full on as well. I know it's scary sometimes to, to, to go into this, this phase, this mode, because your partner might be in a place where she's, all right, well, I'm, she's not really into it. She hasn't been, there hasn't been a good connection. Maybe you've been holding back a lot of information and it hasn't, um, it hasn't come out in full force to your partner yet. And so she's a little bit, she's, she's been standoffish. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, I'm talking to you as the he, the masculine energy, but this could be the feminine energy as well, holding back, 
how she's really feeling. And your partner feels that. They feel, okay, this is a sort of half-ass kind of connection that I'm getting here. This is like a half-ass erection. This is a half-ass um, uh, uh, half ass effort that, that, that my partner is putting in. And, and I don't feel it. I'm not excited by it. I don't desire it, right? And it's not your, it's not your partner's responsibility. But if you are want, if you want to have more exploration, if you want to have more connection, if you want your partner to feel your sexual energy coming from your body and you want them to really get into that, that, that energy of desire, you have to really feel it yourself. You have to be so truthful and honest about what you have to offer, right? You have to be, you have to be connected to that part of you. That's like, I feel this and I really want to express this with you. And it's coming from my being and my body and, and your partner will start to like feel what's going on and start to want to be part of this with you. Right. Um, I want, I'm talking about this because there's there, I talk a lot about sexual exploration and moving into trying other kinds of things like threesomes or swapping or swinging or these kinds of activities. And these are the kind of things you go into half assed just, okay, well, let's go try it. No, you're going in because I have this desire. I'm really excited by this. I want to go into this and, and have fun with it. I'm so excited and I'm so scared at the same time. Beautiful combination, fear and excitement, right? And it, it's like, with that, then you, you bring these experiences to, to just much more elevated levels of, of exploration, right? So... Uh, this is also this concept, and I like to use the word cock energy, is the concept of stepping into your full presence, right? Now, you're not stepping in, you're not being aggressive and attacking or pressuring or pushing. You're just full in that essence. And you may have to be very patient and you might have to wait for your partner, if you come on and you're ready to go and she, and she's like, no, no, I'm like, no, I'm not into this yet. It's okay. Okay, babe. Like I will, I'm here when you're ready, you let me know. And, and the energy is still there. So just a touch can start getting her warmed up. Just a smile, just watching her, just being there, adoring her, right? Really showing her through your entire energetic being the the kind of, the kind of desire you have for her, showing her being there, you know, and this trans starts to transform the energy between two people. Okay, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. You have to enter into that energy of desire and let it fully be expressed from your being. Now, there may be a desire that you're really scared of, of um, exposing because it's, it feels very strange. It feels very dark. Maybe it feels very weird. It feels like, oh, my partner will never like this. They'll never be into this. They'll never want to participate with me. You have to push that all to the side. Okay. Because if you want to have an extraordinary sexual life, you have to let it come out and, and, and know that whatever you have within you, Whatever desire, whatever expression that you have within you, it is necessary to express it. It is, it is desired by one's partner to, to hear it, to feel it. I mean, your partner may be afraid and scared as well when, when they hear what, you, what, you're, what you're desiring, what you want to offer, what you want to bring to the table here. But that fear as well is good. It's good. That uncomfortability is good. It's part of, of us tapping into our deeper levels of desire, part of us taking the risks to move forward into something that's, that's, that's going to be, you know, create, you know, phew, I like to say like, um, fizzles and, and, and sparkles and, and, and excitement, right? But you have to let yourself, you have to let yourself get into it. And as you do, it grows in your being and your body and, and it starts to radiate and your partner feels that. 
So before you get into, or if you're in that verge of like, you want to do something different, you want some deeper energetic connection, you want to do more exploration with your partner, you want to try different things, step into it fully, like really step into it, step into feeling what that's like to be there, to let your whole body be part of it, let your whole body radiate with that desire. And if your partner has the fear or has been, say, has, been, has been saying no or has been saying, I don't know, I'm scared or I don't know if I could do that, you know, you don't need, you, you, you with this energy, you are going to start creating a change in the connection between the two of you because your power is going to bring feelings of trust for them. It's going to bring, bring feelings of, of more excitement for them. It's going to bring feelings of, of, of feeling, feeling desired and then, okay, well, I can then be vulnerable myself because they have been vulnerable and let some information out that, that has been very different than what we normally discuss. And I think I can, I can be vulnerable too. And I can be more intimate with my partner. Like you transform your relationship as you start to transform yourself, as you start to take risks within yourself, right? So that's it. Give it a try. <laughs> Give it a try. Let me know how it went. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Um, check back at some of my videos about cock energy. I talk about some breathing techniques. I talk about, you know, deep breathing techniques so that you can start moving that energy through your body. I talk about some other aspects that are really important to connecting and accessing this energy. So check those videos out. Um, it's been awesome here to talk about this. This is, uh, this is all a part of this exploration of the sexual dimension. And um, let's go. Let's, let's dive in and, and expand our beings into places that we've never been before that are blissful and exciting and beautiful. So don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I will be back next Thursday. Now, next Thursday, I have special, um, a special live uh, that I'm going to do with two of my uh, partners, uh, three of us, three feminine beings. We're going to talk about from saint to slut, bringing together the saint and the slut in one beautiful divine feminine being package. So come and join us for the live next Thursday. I will post the time uh, during the week. Thank you so much. And I will see you again next week. Much love making.